In this video, I'll be explaining Mobius inversion formula. So let us see first what is the Mobius function. I can define Mobius function mu n. This is 1 if n is equal to 1. This is 0 if there is a prime square that divides n for some prime. And this value is minus 1 to the power r if n takes the prime factorization p1 up till pr. And each pi's are distinct. So these primes are distinct. So now considering this as the definition of the Mobius function. We have already done in the previous video that Mobius function is a multiplicative. So let's see. Let me to write down here the result. Mu n, this is a multiplicative function. So we have done this result that mu n is a multiplicative function. And we have also done one more result. That summation of mu of d, when d divides n, this value is always 1 if n is equal to 1. In all other circumstances, this value is 0. So now I'm going to use now these two results and the definition of the Mobius function to prove Mobius inversion formula. So now let's write what is the theorem of Mobius inversion formula. So it states let capital F and small f be two number theoretic functions and they are related by the expression this capital Fn is equal to summation d divides n f of d. Then small fn can be converted into this form. It can take either mu d f of n by d and notice here that this is also a divisor. This is also a divisor. For example, if I have right n is equal to d into d dash. So we say d divides n. But in other say, what is the value for d dash? So d dash is also a divisor. From here, we can also say that d dash divide n. But in other way, from the equation number 1, we can also write that d dash is n by d. So whenever we write into this form, so this means n by d is also a divisor and d is also a divisor. Both are divisors of n. So we may replace now either we can write that divisor here in the function of mu and we can write d here. So that is why the two expression are actually the same. We are running over d divides n here also we are running over d divides n and here either you can write d or you can write the other divisor n by d or you may first write n by d and then you can write down d. And this will also help us to prove that it, if capital F is multiplicative then so small f will also be multiplicative so that would be an answer application and we will prove that result after we prove this result so now let's continue the proof of the theorem and i write n as d into d dash so considering that d is a divisor of n so considering d divides n so this automatically means that d dash can be written it as n by d and also so this means d dash is also a divisor of n so this is also a divisor of n and d and d dash runs over all possible divisors of n so now let's write down this expression what we wanted to prove this expression so we want to take summation d divides n mu d capital f of n by d this is same as summation d divides n mu d now substitute the value of capital fn which is given here to us in equation number one so what is capital fn this is summation d divides now instead of n, so here we have n, so this is d divides n. But in this expression, this is n by d. So here it is n by d. So to avoid this confusion here, what I'll take is, at this stage, I'll take some another divisor as c. c divide this n by d. And inside I have f of the divisor, that is c. So inside I will have now c, because I have considered now the divisor as c. This is same as summation d divides n, summation c by n by d, that is a divisor. And inside I have now mu d into fc. So just club the two terms and I've just written summation on one side. Now we notice that d divides n and c divide n by d. This will hold if and only if c divide n and d divides n by c because they are the same divisors. c from here again. What is the expression written to us? We are saying d divides n and d divides n that means n is written as d into some d dash and then we want to write n by d so that is n by d is equal to d dash and we are saying that c divide n by d this means c divide n by d d dash c divide d dash this means when c divide d dash and d dash runs over all divisors of n so automatically c divides d dash or even the divisors are d so d divide and d divides n so this means c must divide n also so we have c divide n and d divides n by c so this and this expression they are same so just replacing their sum so this we will get c by n 
this is summation d by n by c and inside we will have mu d and f of c so there is no change in fact inside you can keep this as it is which is equal to summation c by n f c and summation mu d because now runs this summation runs over the divisor c now we can see again this is summation of something this is summation of mu n function and we have just discussed at the starting of this video that summation of mu d when d divides n this value is either 1 if n is equal to 1 and this summation is 0 when n is strictly greater than 1 so whenever we sum the Mobius function this value will take 1 only if n is equal to 1 so whenever we are saying that this n by c value so d divides 1 will give me the there is say for example d divides 1 so this means divisor has to be 1 only in that case so to make sure that inside we have only one quantity for the remaining it will only be 0 so this means this expression will be valid only when n by c is equal to 1 for all other value this will be 0 0 multiplied by this other expression will be 0 so it will be only 1 when n by c equal to 1 so I am just substituting now when n by c is equal to 1 c divide n this means there is only one case fn into and whenever n by c equal to 1 this implies n must be equal to c and in that case this whole summation is 1 so this expression is f of n this is what we desire to prove also as we can see there f of n and on left hand side we have started with this summation and this is what we were desired to prove and the other expression is just the rewritten of the first expression and hence the Mobius inversion formula hold so now we use the Mobius inversion formula. So what is we have been given? If the two arithmetic functions are related in this expression, d divides n, then we can have an expression for small fn. This is equal to summation d divides n mu d capital F of n by d. This is the expression for the Mobius inversion formula. If this hold, then we have this one. So the first remark says that we know that what is the tau n function? Tau n is the sum, tau n is the count on the positive divisors of n that is this expression now just compare this one so here what is capital fn capital fn is tau n and what is small f of function so small function is one so this means we can just directly say capital fn using the Mobius inversion formula this becomes one summation d divides n mu d will come as it is f of n by d so f is now my tau function so this will be tau of n by d or I may also write this as summation d divides n either d or I may write it as n by d and here if n by d is written here so this means it is tau of d similarly in the second remark we have a sigma n which is the sum of the divisor so sum over divisor d divide n in this case again capital fn is a sigma n and small fn is n because it is d and d finally run over n so the last value for uh, d is actually n and in this case when i apply again this Mobius inversion formula so i can write it this as n equal to summation d divides n mu d sigma n by d or i may write it as summation d divides n mu of n by d times sigma d so that's the expression that we can get using the Mobius inversion formula. Now we prove as an application to Mobius inversion formula that it's capital F is a multiplicative function and capital F and small f are related with this expression then small f is also a multiplicative function. Now let's prove this result. We want to prove that small f is a multiplicative function. So let us consider for the small f consider this in the expression of f of m n this should be equal to f of m into f of n where the gcd between f m and n should be equal to 1 so now let's write down the expression f of m n this is same as using the Mobius inversion formula i can write this as d divides m n and then we can write mu d and here f of m n by d okay because given as this expression and then by using Mobius inversion formula, we can write down this expression. So now, this we know that mu is a multiplicative function and we also know that capital F is also a multiplicative function because which is already given in the statement. So this is same as d, d1 divides m and there are some divisor d2 divides n. And why is that? Because 
d divides m n n and we have seen m n and g c d is equal to 1 so the only possibility is that d is also split it into some factors d1 d2 that divides m n such that d1 and d2 g c d is equal to 1 and in that case d1 divides m and d2 divides n so that's the basic property of the divisibility so here i have split it d1 divides m and d2 divides n and even inside i can write this as d1 d2 so where we can consider d as d1 into d2 inside we will have mn multiply divided by d1 into d2 so this expression this is same as summation d1 divide m d2 divide n and mu d1 mu d2 capital f m by d1 because f is multiplicative function f n by d2 this whole expression this is same as now i can just take the summation take the first summation d1 and keep f m by d1 together and take the other summation separate out this is mu2 although the whole terms are still multiplied in together and we have f of n by d2 this expression now is same as fm small fm and the other expression and the other expression here it is n so this quantity is f of n so that proves that f of m n this is equal to f of m into f of n and hence it shows that small f is a multiplicative function.